Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cooking with Cody. Today we're going to make my version of traditional corn soup. You're going to need celery, carrot, onion, salt pork, kidney beans, hominy corn, a stock of your choice, and uh, I have some venison as well. You're going to want to peel the outside layer off. You're going to want to wash your celery really well, and then you're going to want to cut it roughly the same size as your onions. Carrots have lots of good nutrients, and they add a nice color to your soup. Again, they don't have to be precise. You just want them to be roughly the same size as your other vegetables. You want to have about the same amount of onions as you have carrots and celery combined. Pork fat provides a lot of flavor. You're going to want to rinse off the pork before you cut it up. If you don't have any salt pork, you could always substitute for bacon. I'm going to use 100 grams of salt pork. If you have venison, you're going to want to remove what's known as the silver skin. It's a tissue that doesn't break down when you cook it. I'm going to cut the meat in nice small cubes so that when it cooks, they are going to break down the tougher cut and make them nice and tender in the soup. You could always use any other meat you'd like. Chicken, beef, rabbit, partridge, or you could keep it vegetarian and omit the salt pork. You're going to want to cut your potatoes in a medium dice. Too big and they're not going to cook all the way through. Too small and they're going to turn to mush. I'm just going to add the salt pork to the pot and get some of the fat that's inside of it out so we can get some browning on our venison. If it doesn't have enough oil, or fat in the bottom of it, you can always add a little bit of vegetable oil or any oil that you have around. Once your salt pork starts to brown, you can add your venison. Once your meat started to brown, you can go ahead and add the vegetables. You're going to stir these around until they get soft. After the meat, you're going to add your vegetables and your potatoes. You're just going to give this a stir until your vegetables start to become soft. It's actually really starting to smell good. You can always add any herbs and spices that you'd like. For today, I'm just going to have salt and pepper. If you're using something like venison or any wild meats, you may want to include herbs like rosemary or thyme. I'm just going to season these with a little bit of salt and pepper to get it going. You don't want to add too much salt and pepper because you're going to adjust your seasoning at the end. Right before I'm going to add my broth, I'm going to add my beans. Now I'm adding the stock. About two liters should do. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to put it down to a simmer and let it sit there for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to add the last ingredient to our corn soup. The hominy that I have is pre-made. It's boiled with maple ash which releases the niacin in it. You're going to add this in about 10 minutes before the soup is finished. If you add it in too early, it's going to turn to mush. Our soup's really coming together now. We're just going to cover this for 10 more minutes, and as soon as that happens is up, we're going to have our corn soup. So, 10 minutes is up, and our soup is ready to be served. It's filled with lots of vegetables, that nice hominy corn, and some venison. 